Hello, this is TG Requiem. We're doing a deck tech for Storm. Kind of want to get through some decks and just add some more deck techs out there because really, I guess the goal for me here is to just share the joy of modern with people. And so um, I was just thinking, you know, I've got a bunch of decks. I should start doing some deck techs. Um, this is Blue Red Storm. And basically the goal of this deck is to play a bunch of spells in a roll in a row rather and then kill your opponent using a storm card such as grape shot grape shot deals one damage to target creature or player uh, and then the storm mechanic is copy this spell for every spell cast before this spell this turn which includes your opponents so the goal is to chain you know roughly 12 13 14 15 uh, 16, 17, 18, 20 spells in a row. Um, typically you don't need that many, depending on how much damage your opponent's done to themselves. And then finish it off with a big grape shot. Uh, anyway, I say a big grape shot, that means a lot of one damage grape shot hits. <clears throat> the way the deck does this is it uses cards like Pyromancer Ascension, which whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that has the same name as a card in your graveyard, you may put a quest counter on Pyromancer Ascension. And whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell while Pyromancer Ascension has two or more quest counters on it, you may copy that spell and choose new targets. You may choose new targets to copy the spell. Um, so this allows you to duplicate spells already. So if you have this up and running, um, you basically only have to do half the spells to get Grape Shot. Uh, to get to lethal. The other thing they have is Goblin Electromancer, which instant sorcery spells cost one less to cast, and so that paired with, um, where are you, Pyretic Ritual, you could cast for one red to get three mana instead of two CMC. Uh, same thing for Desperate Ritual. This also has Splice and Arcane if that ever becomes relevant. And, um, which I think is pretty much just off this. Then you have Past in Flames, which allows you to uh, cast each instant and sorcery in your graveyard that turn as if it had flashback. Flashback cost is equal to its mana. So, you know, if you can gobble, gobble an Electromancer, spit out a Desperate Ritual to create three mana and then you have a goblin electromancer out you cast past in flames for the three mana since it costs one less and then all of a sudden you can cast the desperate ritual that's in your graveyard and start playing through all the cards in your graveyard so beyond all the cards i just mentioned everything else is essentially cantrips um, you have desperate ravings which is draw two cards and discard a card at random with the benefit of having flashback um, so it's not card disadvantage. A lot of people will run Faithless Saluting, which is card disadvantage uh, a little bit better since you can filter, uh, but worse because it's card disadvantage and you're trying to have a um, a flurry of spells. And so running yourself low on spells is just making the job harder. Get to Axiom Probe, you can pay two life or a blue to look at target player's hand and draw a card. Serum Visions, which is draw a card, scry two. Sleight of Hand, which is look at the top two cards of your library, put one on the top of, or I'm sorry, one in your hand and one on the bottom of the library. Thought Scour is mill two cards from the top of a library, of, of a player's library, and then draw a card. Um, and then again, Desperate Ravings is another card filter. And then the rest is kind of the combo piece. Now, if you haven't caught this already, the deck has some trouble against Graveyard Hate as Past in Flames um, really helps the deck combo off. If you were to try and go off and not have Past in Flames up, um, then you're counting on your draw spells to, oh, you know what? I missed a card. Very important one. Manamorphose. Manamorphos is, um, I'm going to move these up here so we can see them better. 
Mana Morphos is add two mana in any combination of colors to your mana pool. Draw a card. So this is a cantrip, and if you have Goblin Electromancer online, nets you one uh, one mana. And this is actually where you're going to get a lot of the blue you might need for casting these other spells. So you use red to cast a lot of stuff, but then ideally your Mana Morphoses and your lands are going to cover your, or your blue. Uh, but point being is if you don't have access to the graveyard, your Past in Flames... Well, first of all, your Pyromancer extension doesn't uh, get up to two counters because the graveyard is cut off, and therefore the first piece where it looks for cards in the graveyard and put a quest counter on does not trigger. Secondly, Past in Flames lets you go through your graveyard to essentially cast a bunch of spells in a row um, that are already in there. Again, if you don't have access to the graveyard, you don't have your Past in Flames, you basically have to count on drawing into enough cards in a row, um, which includes drawing into enough mana acceleration, which is a really crazy balance, and then still get your grape shots. Um, I've played this deck a few times, very few times, um, but without this optimal configuration, I'll call it optimal because that's it's pretty much, not 100%, but it's pretty much what uh, like John Finkel and Owen oh, Tweet, uh, Turtonwald play. Um, so I played a really janky version, and I was able to win once going off without the graveyard cards. But I was able to run like 12 spells in a row, which ended with a grape shot into a grape shot. So the first one hit for 12, and the next one hit for 13. Um, so this will be actually my first time playing with this real version. Sideboard wise, Blood Moon, you can use Desperate Ritual or Pyretic Ritual to get a turn 2 Blood Moon, which gives you time to go off against a lot of people. Lightning Bolt can help speed up the clock against opponents, and at the same time, um, slow your opponents down if they're aggro decks. So that's kind of what Lightning Bolt's for. The Dismember, just to kind of help with bigger creatures, uh, stop a Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf from beating you down, for example. Echoing Truth, I presume this is in the sideboard primarily for white decks, where you, uh, not necessarily white, I guess white or black. So black playing Leyline of the Void, probably, and white playing Leyline of Sanctity. And the assumption is probably just that as you go through and go off and draw through most of your deck, eventually you hit Echoing Truth, and then you can bounce their Ley Line of Sanctities, um, and therefore use your Grape Shot to kill your opponent. And likewise, you could use this to bounce Ley Line of the Voids to turn your Grape, excuse me, your Graveyard on. Um, Shatterstorm for Affinity, Vandal Blast, just because I don't have a third Shatterstorm. And then empty the warrens against a lot of mid-rangey decks because you've, if you can just get three or four storm triggers on this, that's six to eight goblins, which could be enough. Um, so you kind of just try and get a quick ramp into empty the warrens and unload, you know, a bunch of tokens. And then ignite memories. Target player, it's another storm win condition. Target player reveals a card at random from his or her hand. Ignite memories deals damage to that player equal to the cards converted mana cost. Uh, this would be more for like uh, big mana decks or decks that play a lot of high CMC spells. It's just more damage per hit than Grape Shot. Um, might be a good way to also try and go off without access to the graveyard as you can try and um, get more damage per shot than the one with Grape Shot. Plus, by the time you cast this, there's a good chance they don't have a ton of lands left, and so you're probably, with each copy of the spell, hitting something decent. So that's Storm. I'm going to try and get at least one match in here. Depending on how quick it goes, we'll get a second one. And then I'm going to put a little bit of time into learning this deck over the next few weeks, um, in between trying to do Elf Leagues and some other stuff. This is just a deck I kind of want to learn. It seems fun. And um, so, yeah, Blue Red Storm.